State House. The message from both sides of the aisle was crystal clear on Thursday with the release of Senate Bills 1 and 2. It is that education and child care will be top priorities, even though we're not in a budget year. Hannah Adamson with the story. The most important thing we do this year is going to be helping schools address our literacy rates. Senate Republicans say Senate Bill 1, or the Every Child Learns to Read Bill, would require every school in Indiana to have a plan for reading instruction and remediation for K-3 through students. This is not a retention bill. Retention is at the absolute last resort after we've exhausted all other methods to help struggling readers. Senate and House Democrats releasing a joint bicameral agenda, lambasting Senate Bill 1, saying more parental involvement is needed. And that's why I'm joining my House colleagues today in support of their proposal for a five-year commission with our Department of Education to track progress and implementation of education standards and policies. Another top priority for both sides of the aisle, child care. Republican leadership says Senate Bill 2 would reduce the minimum caregiver age and create a child care pilot program that would launch three micro child care centers across the state. It would be awesome if they can work, which I think they can, for the rural areas that are a dearth of, of child care centers. But Democrats say the proposed pilot program doesn't go far enough, with some calling to use state surplus dollars to fund a solution. 600,000 parents are faced with no child care options in this state, and luck should not be the answer for them. We need a plan, we need a system. Other top priorities among Democrats include allowing ballot measures, reducing property taxes, and lowering drug costs. Meanwhile, Senate Republicans say they will work to replace the roughly 265,000 lead water lines in the state.